This is Advanced Algebra Lesson 4-2, Matrix Addition. In this lesson, we're going to look at adding matrices, and then we're going to look at repeated addition, but we call that scalar multiplication. So in order to add matrices, the first thing you have to have is two matrices that have the same dimension, same number of rows by the same number of columns. I'm going to have you turn to page 222 in your textbook. So you might want to pause the video real quick to get your book to 222. And you can see here that I have two matrices. One of them represents current inventory of different cars, and the other one is the deliveries that were made of the cars in stock. So what we need to do is we want to add the deliveries to our current inventory so we have a new inventory. So when we add matrices, these two matrix matrices have the same dimension. They're both four four rows by one, two, three, four, five columns. So they're both four by five. So I can add them together. So I'm going to look at turbo red and turbo red, 12 plus six. Come over here and you'll see my total at 18. Go ahead and add turbo blues. Current inventory was 10. I had two deliveries, so my new inventory is 12. So when adding matrices together, you can go ahead and just take corresponding elements, add them together, and put them in your total matrix. The other piece that we want to look at is scalar multiplication. I'm actually going to go back to your lesson two notes. And I have an example of scalar multiplication here for you. We want to take this matrix here that you can see me circling and multiply it by eight. So what that means is that I'm going to take this matrix and add it to itself eight times. It's another way to think about it. So I'm going to take and multiply eight times each element. So eight times 4.2, eight times 2.3, eight times a negative 6.4, and eight times two. And you can see that the, the calculation piece here in the middle matrix, but my total matrix or the answer that I want, eight times 4.2 is 33.6, Eight times a negative six point four is a negative fifty one point two. Eight times two thirds is twelve, and eight times two is not eighteen. That is sixteen. So it looks like that's a typo on my part. So I'm going to change that, and I'm guessing that is in your notes that way too. So I'll change that, and then we'll move on. The next part of this lesson is working with subtraction of matrices. So in order to subtract matrices, we need to follow the same process that we did for adding. We need to have two matrices that have the same dimensions, and we're just going to find the difference between their corresponding elements. So we have an example here that we're going to work through. We have cars, trucks, and SUVs, and the amount of gasoline that is sold at a busy gas station by the type, and it's organized by the type of uh, fuel that they use, so regular, premium, and super. So what we want to do is for part A, we want to create a new matrix that shows the change from June to July. So if we're going to do the change from June to July, we're going to subtract, if we look at elements that are the same, we've got regular cars and regular cars, and so the change from June to July was a decrease in, in 4,000 gallons. If we do a decrease from the cars using premium versus um, in June and July, we would see that there was an increase of 5.5. So I want you to stop the video at this time and fill in your matrix that shows the comparison from June to July. Here you see our rep the representation representation of the difference between the months of June and July. So here we had a decrease of four, a decrease of one point three, increase of ten point eight. So if you go to Part B, it says which category had the greatest increase. So if we look through our matrix for the largest increase, we see thirteen point five. So that would represent uh, this is in the top right hand column in this matrix, so that would represent going f cars using super went from 31 to 44.5, so that had a difference of 13.5 thousand gallons between those two months. And then they wanted you to look at which category had the greatest decrease, so we're going to look for 
our largest negative value that we have, and that would be regular cars or cars that use the regular fuel. So 25 to 21.4, that went down by 4, so that would be our greatest decrease.